This is the x-ray head, while the other part which we talked about was this one, is the x-ray tube. This is going to generate the x-ray. This will house all the other components that are responsible for the uh, production of the uh, x-ray. Inside here, there is a step-up transformer and a step-down transformer. Step-down transformer uh, heats up the tungsten filament while the step-up transformer actually cre creates potential difference in between the cathode and the anode. In all X-ray machines, if you search in your machine, you will find a dot, see this one, over here. This actually tells you the position of the target area, or the rounded area in the target, this one. So, if you drop a line from this point, over here, okay, you will find the target uh, uh, and an area in between and, uh, bet uh, and this area, okay? All this head is filled up with oil. If I open this, oil will just spill down. So one of the very important things is that if you see any spillage of oil in the x-ray head, not the tube, in the x-ray head, do not use this machine for two reasons. One which is most important, is that there is leaking x-ray from here. A tube that leaks, leaks oil, leaks head, uh, leaks uh, x-ray as well, because x-ray is only allowed to pass through this part. And the second thing is that the continuous loss of oil will lead to the heat up of the tungsten filament, which uh, renders it uh, inactive after a few uses, and then the x-ray machine will stop. Most of the x-ray machines, actually, they have a cooling down period. If you overuse the x-ray machine, uh, it will not stop, it will not work, it will be thermally protected, it will uh, give an, a, a time to, al uh, t to allow time to cool down the uh, x-ray uh, target area. So, uh, if you can read here inside, it's written as one millimeter of aluminum. So, uh, differs, machines d uh, differ from one type to another. The one millimeter aluminum here, plus it means that you have another 1.5 millimeters of a total filtration in this area. Okay? And the other type, it is 1.5. At the end, you should have minimum 2.5 millimeter equal of aluminum th uh, filtration, a uh, two, mi two millimeter thickness of aluminum filtration in order to uh, 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 properly remove all uh, soft x-rays so that your x-rays will be hardened.